Hey guys, Coach Brandon Krauts here. Uh, today I got a cool one for you. Gonna help you tackle your very first pull up. I'm gonna show you how to build yourself up to it and then way beyond that first pull up until you hit those double digits, 20, 25 and beyond, all right? So stay tuned. So a major component to building yourself up to accomplishing a real deal pull up is to learn how to use your back muscles, your powerful, big back muscles and try to stay away from using your arm muscles, all right? So your back is composed of many different muscles, right? But the prime mover of that pull-up is gonna be this kind of wing-shaped muscle called your latissimus dorsi, right? And these lats, they, they attach from the back of your arm all the way into your spine there. And what they do is they pull your elbows back. They, they bring your elbows to your torso. And that's really, the crux of getting the power necessary to get this pull up off. So I'm gonna do a pull up for you and I want you to pay attention to the form that I put myself in. And what I really try to do is, is not just dangle and use those arm muscles like I said as a no-no. What I wanna do is kind of arc my back up. So I'm looking up at the sky and I wanna to try to bring my elbows in. So let me demonstrate. So I hope you could see how much my back muscles were really having to work there to accomplish that movement. But that's the way that I'm gonna be able to get the power necessary to do it. Now let me show you some ways to help you build up to it. So if you have one of these kind of rubber bands, they're really useful, all right? You can attach it to the pull-up bar you're working. What you wanna do is you can maneuver and get your knee into that strap. Let yourself dangle, because you wanna start from that dangle. Like I said, arc yourself up, use your back muscles come up like it, this. But it's like, it hit me right in the sword. If you don't have one of those pull-up bars, what you can do is find something to stand on that positions you up high where the bar is. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna jump up to the finished position. You're gonna kind of work in reverse. You're gonna start here, and you're gonna slowly, eccentrically drop yourself down. And this is really gonna stress those muscles necessary to, to aid you in getting that pull-up. So again, jump yourself up, slowly, drop down, repeat. If you have access to some sort of pulley system or lat pull down, that's really cool too, right? Because that's a good way to lower the, the weight involved, but still help you work on utilizing those muscle groups that we've been talking about this whole video, right? So what you did, you would position yourself underneath the bar like you were dangling from it, right? And then you would bring that down here. So, you know, that, that action that you're trying to, to strengthen for the last muscle is pulling your elbows in. But another thing that the lat muscles is, is they, they pull your elbows back. And aiding in that strength will roundabout way aid in that strength as well. So you want to incorporate some rolling motions also. Bending over, maybe a dumbbell hanging, where you're bringing your elbow back, that's, that's the key. You're not trying to bring the weight up, you're trying to bring the elbow back. If you don't have access to like dumbbells or anything like that, you can find something to invert yourself on. And then that same concept from this dangling position, bring your elbows back. So incorporate all this stuff, help build up your very first pull up and beyond, all right? Like I said, you keep going, you'll be hammering around double jigs, no problem. And if you have a beautiful daughter like I do, you can certainly use that for some baby weight. Come on, boy, let's show you. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe.